two, three, four. Hello, welcome back to another Whiskey Review with me, the Whiskey Novice. Thank you for joining me for review number 91, part 7 of my series, Baby, I Got the Blends. Now, sometimes when reviewing whiskey, probably with reviewing anything, you have to take the rough with the, uh, don't tell Ralph I said it, smooth. Now, some of these that I have done in this series, some whiskies I have reviewed could be considered smooth. As in, they have been the good stuff. This Grant's Triple Wood would probably, in my opinion, be considered the rough. Now, why am I reviewing this? Well, this series is looking at affordable, approachable, accessible blends, right? Certainly can't say it's not affordable. £12 I paid for this ball. The reason why there's so much in the ball, and it has been in my cabinet for probably around three years, and there's not a lot out of it. It's not because I'm keeping it. It's not because I'm nursing it. We'll, we'll, we'll get to why there's so much in it in a moment. It's a cheap blend. It's one of the cheapest blends. So what is good to say about it before we progress, shall we? Well, for one, I, I mean, the bottle is certainly very recognisable. You're not going to mistake that bottle shape, really. Owned by William Grant and, Grant and Sons, this bottle was uh, designed, I think it was around the mid 20th century, by Hans, let's see, Hans Schläger, I'm going to say who according to the piece I read was one of the most influential graphic designers of the 20th century. So we'll take that on board, yep. Not an awful lot more <laughs> to add to that. Yeah, the, what we're looking at here is the grain component of this. You're looking at the Garvin Distillery. Regarding the malt in this blend, you're Probably, possibly looking at Glymphitic, Bilveni, uh, Canenvi. What else? What have I got on? The, there was something, yes, yeah, Stand Fast. I had to look this one up, actually, because I couldn't understand why it just said Stand Fast Grant. And it is the, uh, the battle cry of the Grant clan. So there you have it. That's why it says Stand Fast on it, in case anybody was wondering. It is matured in, well, this is the triple wood. And it's... Uh, Refill American Oak, First Fill American Oak, and Virgin American Oak casks. So it makes it sound incredibly interesting. Blend of Scotch Whiskey, matured in three different types of wood for smooth, rich, and mellow taste. I don't want to cry bullshit straight away, but you know, I'm sure there's somebody out there. I'm sure there's somebody out there wants to know what this is like. So here we go. Ball at 40%. Actually, it's a bit funky in the nose. There's a bit of a rubbery smell, which I didn't really get whenever I was doing the tasting notes. It's so light. So, such a thin nose feel. There are things going on, but you really got to look for them. Yeah. That, that rubbery note I didn't get before, I'm really getting now, and it's not terribly pleasant. There is it's a fresh pear, vanilla. And that vanilla, it's, it's coming from a light, a very light oakiness. There's a, a, a slight funk and, and uh, nutty bitterness. There's no fight with it for that 40%. And a little touch of pine needles underneath it all. It's not an awful lot going on. 
not a lot, but, but, 12 pounds, remember, 12 pounds. That was the only reason I bought it. I thought, what is a 12 pound whiskey like? And now I know. And so soon, will you? Sweet and sour delivery, I think. Mm. Actually, the palate. The delivery is actually not that bad. It's better than I remember. It comes in slightly fuller than I remember, considering how thin the nose feel is, considering how little it gave up. But it comes in, and it's a slightly sweet delivery, sweet and sour delivery, but then, yeah, it's, it's thin. No, it remains thin. Sweet, and what, it's not, any heat that's in it, or any pepperiness, doesn't feel like pepperiness, it feels like fizz, rather than heat. Most of us will know out there, I, I imagine there's not too many that will watch this video, there'll probably not be too many watch this video full stop, but anybody that does would be looking for that, some sort of chilli, peppery, uh, some sort of heat to come with you. It's what we recognise of a whiskey, but in this, it feels like fizz. It's weird. And not a whole lot more. There's a hint of a of a sweetened breakfast cereal, and then a bit more of that vanilla, but but not a lot. This is pretty tasteless. Definitely nothing to write home about. No, no, eh. Uh, Slight hint of orange there. Which of Glenfiddich's involved, I would expect. That's something I find about Glenfiddich. There's, uh, from memory, there's a hint of orange about it. Finish, because we're going straight to the finish now. There's nothing really more to say. Short, dry. That anything that feels like peppery heat just still feels like fizz. Yeah. Yeah, it just feels like something that's been something that's been over carbonated. All right, all right. There's not as I said, there's probably not too many people watching this anyway. It's cheap. It's awful. I'm not sad about too many whiskies. It's not great at all. That, yeah, I said earlier on, there's probably somebody watching this who wants to know what I think of Grant's. There's what I think of Grant's. Not great. Not great. So, come on and we'll just... Yeah. I feel like as if I could have suggested anything, any other whiskey, anything, no spirit, any spirit, water, just drink water, rather than, it's £12, but I wouldn't even, £12, to, you probably pay more than that now, that was just a, an offer I seen, and I thought, I wonder what it's like, but what I will suggest to you, I need to suggest something, and I'm going to suggest something that isn't overly pricey, but in my opinion, for the price, is a belter. It's this, Tomatin Legacy. If you're, if you're not sitting under a, a tunnel somewhere, under a bright summer drinking this, because you're just, as Ralphie would suggest, People buy this whiskey to get pissed. That is the only reason you would buy it. Personally, no, I wouldn't even do that. Not at that price. I, I like to think that I've got I've got more in me than that. 
if you've decided if you've decided that you want to try something else you want to you've had this and you just want to go right look i'm going to buy i'm going to spend because i know there are those out there on a budget but i also know there are those out there who just won't spend an awful don't want to spend an awful lot of money on whiskey so if you've decided to just go look i'm going to spoil myself i'm going to spend a few extra pounds and buy a decent whiskey i'll buy a single malt come on i'll buy a single malt i would recommend this all day long tomato legacy 43 percent, so it's not gonna lift the head off you if you you know if you're sort of scared of thin it down a bit don't worry about that but it's just a real real good quality single malt for the money so yeah if you've had this gut rot and you fancy something a bit special Tomato Legacy is what I'm going to recommend. I, I, yeah, I could have recommended anything, really. It's just piss thin and nothing going on. There's a, that rubbery funk's also a bit vinegary even whenever you go back in. I wouldn't even recommend this as a, as a, a mixing whiskey for the simple fact that I think you would just lose it to whatever you, you mix into it. I think you would lose anything that's going on here at all. Most of you all know, anybody that's watching this, or most people that's watching this, will know that I generally do not trash whiskey. I'll find good things to say about them all. Isn't this a nice bottle? Isn't the shape of it nice? I like triangles. There you go. That's all I've got to say about Grant's Triple Wood. And I think great. So until the next time, when I'll be back with something better, I can guarantee it. Thank you for joining me. If you're here, thank you for staying. <laughs> thank you very, very much to my patrons. If you wish to join that group, the details are below. Till the next time, when I will definitely be back with something better, here's to your good health. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please click and subscribe to be notified of further content.